Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3. In this video we're going to go over the loot that you get after farming Katagawa Jr. 50 times at level 60 Mayhem 10 True Alt Hunt mode. Now we did confirm the dedicated drops for this guy as well which is fantastic so we have the drop rates for the dedicates and just what you can expect from getting world drops from this dude. This is actually a great farm. Personally I know Katagawa Jr. sucks as a farm because he jumps around, he has immunity stages and it's super super annoying but currently he's kind of bugged so you can cheese him with like one shot or one clip super super quick before he even jumps away with multiple different strats different builds and old characters which is awesome uh, so i'm gonna go over that as well okay so to start off with if you guys want to farm katagawa jr you want to go to promethea then to atlas hq and then run all the way through the map until you get to uh reese's office which is upstairs in the elevator and then you can jump down into the arena to fight Katagawa Jr. on a loop. It's super, super easy once you're actually there because there's a new station right out front. There's an ammo dump, which by the way, check for legendary grenades uh, now that they're in there, which is awesome. Uh, and you can get ammo as you go. Never run out of that and just keep farming on a loop. Now, I have made a whole video of how to one-shot Katagawa Jr. I'll link that down below if you want a full guide, but I'm just gonna go over it generally, as you can see on screen. I cheese in with a lot of different weapons. You can use it, uh, use rocket launchers if you want, particularly if you're a Moe's. Uh, you can use a Cutsman, you can use a Hell Shock, you can use the Beacon, new DLC weapon. The Sandhawk does work, it's a little harder, you have to make sure you're very accurate now that the kick is super high and the accuracy is more spread. The Monarch is probably the most efficient one, um, and it's like you less accuracy, you don't have to have a sick build for it. It's just there's that many pellets, you're gonna hit him in the head and absolutely one dinks him, which is really, really efficient. Pretty sure we're not supposed to be able to do this, but it has been a thing for at least three months now, so I wouldn't stress about it, like using a game-breaking glitch, because it's been out since the Sandhawk has been out, so it's you can't really avoid it. If you want a Sandhawk, you're gonna have to fight him anyways. And if you try and find him legit, the second you hit him in the head, he's gonna go down instantly. Um, so it's an unavoidable game breaker, apologies. For me personally, I absolutely love it because I do not like the farm and it makes it super, super fast and you get all these legendaries way, way faster rather than having to do, go through the painful uh, farm of Katagawa Jr. normally. Now, as most of you guys probably do know, if you're finding dedicated drops, the best way to find them is turn your mayhem level off and that way you can find them and only get dedicated rather than uh, world drops on repeat. Makes it way easier to tell which ones are the dedicated drops. So I did that a whole bunch. I think I did it well over 50, probably up to 100 times. Katagawa Jr. to make sure what which dedicated drops were now assigned to him. And originally it was the Crossroad, the Storm Sniper Rifle, the Firestorm Sniper Rifle, and from Mayhem 6 and above, the Sandhawk Sniper Rifle as well. Now, it has actually changed. Originally, I thought it was the Storm had left and the Crossroad had left from outside information, people telling me, etc. Turns out it was true about the Crossroad, but the other Sniper Rifles are still assigned. So the Sandhawk, the Firestorm, and just the regular Storm Sniper Rifles are still all dedicated to him. For the Sandhawk, you do have to be above Mayhem 6, by the way, if you're new to the game, you have to be in Mayhem 6 or above to get the Sandhawk to drop at all. But yeah, that's the reason why these stats are for a Mayhem 10 after 50 farms, because I wanted to include the Sandhawk and then just have a general picture of world drops, um, just compared to the other bosses as well. So after 50 farms, Mayhem 10, True Bolt Hunter mode, you can expect about 144 world drop legendaries to drop from Katagawa Jr., which is quite a lot. That's just shy of three legendaries per run, which, that's not including dedicated drops. So you can get three to four legendaries every time. It can drop away more than that. Very rarely does it drop none. For example, I'm pretty sure we only had one run where there was no legendaries whatsoever, dedicated or world drop wise. I'm pretty sure the highest we had was nine legendaries. So it was actually a pretty decent farm, uh, particularly compared to what he used to be as well. As for the dedicated drops, the Storm Sniper Rifle dropped eight times, which is about 16%. The Firestorm has always been a super low drop rate. I'm not sure why it always has since the very start of the game. It only dropped three times out of 50 runs, which is super, super low. And the Sandhawk, um, you'd be very happy to hear, is actually the highest drop weapon out of all of them, which is really good. Nine Sandhawks up to 50 runs, which is about 18%. Now, only one can drop at the same time. You can't get two dedicated to drop at the same time. So 20 total dedicated drops is a 40% drop rate, which is so, so high, which is awesome because not only has he lost a dedicated, so if you're particularly going for one of these three weapons, it's gonna be easier to get. But now the drop rate is probably around two to three times better than what it used to be. I have tested Katagawa Jr. in the past and it's about a 15% drop rate, or it used to be about a 15% drop rate for dedicated. So it is significantly better. Now as for the variants you guys wanna look out for, I assume most of you will be here for the Sandhawk. The highest damage one I have found is a 11.4 times seven. Please let me know if you guys have found a stronger one in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear it. Um, it is only a times seven. It used to be a times nine. They did uh, reduce those projectiles from, I think, the DLC three patch. Uh, and also, as you go increase in damage, you reduce the magazine size even more, 
which it now consumes a ton of ammo. So you definitely want to find a good medium for that, depending on if you're bossing or mobbing uh, with it. Also, another quick mention, I was told that the storm actually got moved to the red jabber. I'm not 100% sure if it does also drop from the red jabber as a dedicated drop, but if you're particularly looking for the storm, it definitely also has a dedicated drop at Katagawa Jr. I'm interested to see if they intentionally left two dedicated drops or if they just forgot to take it off Cat Jr. So if that changes later on, I'll let you guys know in the pin co top comment section, but it is definitely still a thing. So if you want storms, there's two places to go. Thought I may as well show you guys the variants you managed to get uh, during this farm in case you're interested in the stats. You are more than welcome to pause the video and check those out. We managed to get one of every elemental variant except Cryo uh, in this farm because Cryo just doesn't seem to drop very often for me for some reason. Um, but yeah, they're all the ones that you can get. Like I said, magazine size changes significantly and there is a ton of different uh, damage variants as well. But yeah, that is everything I have for 50 kills of Katagawa Jr. on Mayhem 10. Hope you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, feel free to smash subscribe down below. That'd be awesome. If you guys want to help me out even more, you can leave a like. And if you want to leave a comment down below, if you have any other bosses you want me to make a video like this for, I am more than happy to do so. If you guys want to check us out over on Twitch, it'll be linked down below. We stream pretty much every night just after I post my YouTube videos. We usually find dedicated drops like this, make builds, hang out with chat, just get up to some random Borderlands shenanigans and have a good time. Hope to see you guys over there. Other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I shall see you guys in the next video and a live stream. Till then, adios.